called It's Ramen Daza. And for today's video, it's going to be a bit interesting because this one is meant for incoming grade 11 senior high school students. Actually, I'm already an incoming grade 12 student and I'm taking up Humanities and Social Sciences or Youths. So I'm here to share with you some tips based on my personal experiences when I was in grade 11 and of course so that you may uh, know what to expect in senior high school. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. I prepared 10 tips for, for you guys and of course, let's start off with a tip number one. Tip number one is to familiarize yourself with your class schedule. Yeah, if you cannot memorize your class schedule, you can make it as your own home screen, lock screen, or even your pin to it. Anything that can help you in order to familiarize yourself with your class schedule. This is very important since there are schools na parang iba iba yung schedule nila kada araw. Katulad namin, iba iba yung schedule namin every day. And syempre, para maiwasan na yung pagkalito sa pagdadala ng mga gamit or even pag-comply sa mga tasks or sa mga activities, kailangan alam natin kung ano yung schedule natin. Guys, this is very important. Kaya inuna ko siya. Tip number two is to be organized. <laughs> Nakaka-stress na nga yung senior high school. So, bakit pa natin lalo yung stress yung sarili natin through being disorganized? Right? Yeah, as much as possible yung mga binabalik sa ating uh, quizzes, written exams, uh, worksheets, paperworks, yung mga ganyan. Let's keep it inside an envelope, a folder, or even a file organizer. Kasi there are some teachers na uh, ibabalik muna nila sa inyo yung mga written works nyo and then saka pa lang nila kukunin and i -re record at the end of the day. So yeah, para naman maiwasan natin yung pagkawala ng mga written works natin, and syempre sa yung mga scores natin, uh, let's let's keep it all inside a inside an organizer. Uh, para uh, may maipakita tayo at merong ma-record yung mga teachers natin. Tip number three. This next tip is not applicable to everyone since there are some schools na nag-record na talaga na naka-uniform agad dapat in the first week of classes. And... Meron namang school na pwede namang nakasivilian muna. So, kung pwede pa, kung pwede muna sa inyo na nakasivilian and gusto nyo mag-civilian in the first week ng klase, uh, make sure to wear comfortable clothes. Kasi uh, not all of us ay uh, familiar agad dun sa environment ng ating school or even ng building na talagang papasokan natin. So, yeah, make sure to wear comfortable clothes and of course, yung appropriate outfit naman para sa mga students. Tip number four is to socialize, guys. Uh, especially dun sa mga new classmates natin or even sa other students, makahalubilo tayo. Kasi as time goes by, lalo na kapag yung mga group activities, competitions, group works, ganyan, hindi na tayo may hirapang makipag-interact sa iba. Kasi in the first week pa lang ng klase, or even yun nga, sa um, start pa lang ng academic year, um, kumbaga, nakipag-interact na tayo. It's very important to have friends. I mean, mahirap mag-isa kasi you cannot share your um, happiness or even the joy na meron ka sa'yo to other people or even yung mga, mga lowest lows mo sa buhay. Tip number five is to bring packed lunch plus more snacks. Yes. If nagtitipid kayo at ayaw nyo na pumunta sa kantin or pumila man sa napakahabang pila sa kainan, then bring pack lunch kasi yun, makakatulong din sa inyo kung ganun nga kayo. And then, more snacks, lalo na kapag maghapon yung klase nyo because you need uh, more energy sa sobrang dami ng gawain, sobrang dami ng mga um, performance tasks. And of course, don't forget to share it with your friends. Tip number 6. The top two essentials for senior high school students. Yellow pad plus pen. Guys, ito yung pinakadamitin sa buong school year. Promise. And yeah, may share lang ako sa inyo tungkol sa mga um, hacks pagdating sa yellow pad, pagdating sa paggamit ng yellow pad, at pagdadala ng yellow pad. Kasi, di ba, before, um, nung junior high school tayo, or even nung elementary, pinagdadala tayo ng one-fourth um, pad paper, one-half crosswise, 
one half length twice, ganyan. Eh, since wala namang nabibili, na ganun, na yellow pad, sa bahay pa lang, siguro gumawa na kayo ng mga one-fourth na yellow pad. Tapos, yun, gupit-gupitin nyo na, mag one half length twice, crosswise na kayo dyan. Para na rin kapag mismo, kasi, meron mga surprise quiz, di ba? Mga surprise it works, yan. Makikihati pa kayo, syempre, sa iba. At magpupunit-punit pa kayo lalawayan nyo pag yellow pad. So, syempre, para para ma-avoid na natin yung mga ganong instances. Siguro sa bahay, gumawa na kayo ng mga... Yun nga, naka one-fourth, naka one-half na yellow pad. If ayaw nyo maubos yung yellow pad nyo, nung wala pang isang buwan, wala pang isang quarter, isang sem, siguro wag nyo lang dalhin yung buong yellow pad araw-araw. Para siguro, um, magpunit lang kayo ng konti sa araw na to and then siguro mauubos nyo yun within a week. So next week, dun kayo magdala ulit. Parang hindi agad siya mauubos. Kasi syempre, di ba, katulad ko, nakakatamad minsan. Nakakatamad minsan. Gumawa lang gamit sa bag. Kaya, mas pipiliin ko na lang sa katabi ko na lang. Sa katabi na lang ako manghihingi. Ganon. Yeah, para may wasa natin ganon. Huwag nyo na lang dalin na. Pero okay din. Para rin hindi mabigat syempre sa bag nyo. Kung meron top to essentials, meron top to yeah. I think scientific calculator. Hindi lang siya for uh, STEM students, ABM students, even yung mga GA students, tsaka kami, or tayong UMS, kung UMS man kayo, UMS students, gumagamit din ito. Kasi, in grade 11 kami, we have, like, two math subjects. And, yon yung general mathematics, tsaka statistics and probability. And, masasabi ko talaga na sobrang helpful ng scientific calculator. So, make sure to have one. Tip number seven. Provide an extra notebook. Provide an old notebook, uh, a planner, or even just a stack of papers where you can list down all of your daily tasks, activities, school activities, events. Yan. Kasi um, there are some people naman kasi na kapag nakakita na sila ng list ng mga gagawin nila, mas motivate sila na tapusin yun, mas motivate sila na matchikan yung ilan doon. Yan. Pero... I'm not generalizing all students, diba? Kasi meron din naman mga students na kapag nakita ng list na gagawin nila, lalong tata na rin. Kaya, pero, yun, advice ko lang sa iba, yun, I provide, yun nga, a notebook. Tapos parang, can keep track dun sa mga bagay na kailangan tapusin and i-comply, syempre, sa specific um, date na yun. Tip number eight, master the art of effective study. I cannot mention a specific study technique or strategy for all of you guys since we are different. There are some students that are called visual learners, there are some auditory learners, naman, etc. So yeah, siguro if maaari, magtry na lang tayo ng iba't ibang uh, techniques and strategies kung di pa natin alam ha, kung saan tayo mas naging effective. Tingnan natin kung saan tayo mas naging willing mag-aral, kung anong technique. Tip number nine, have your own flash drive. Guys, there are a lot of PowerPoint presentations, research, mga ganyan, um, mga video making, and ano pa ba, yung mga pinapasave na documents sa inyo na kailangan talaga meron kang copy sa uh, flash drive or sa desktop mo. More backup files is equal to more fun. <laughs> Promise. Tip number ten, be confident, trust yourself, Trust the man above or trust God. Yeah, be confident, lalo na sa yums, guys. You need to be fully determined. And of course, kailangan na yung passion mo sa pinili mong track. Or kung academic track man yan, nandun yung passion mo dun sa pinili mong strand, syempre. Para mas mag-excel ka. And uh, yun, hindi ka tama rin sa pag-aaral. Expect na na magiging masaya. <laughs> kung nandun ka talaga sa um, track or dun sa strand nga na gusto mo. I still have like two dalawang um, bonus na tips para sa inyo. And the first one is to attend class every day as much as possible. Yeah, kasi um, again, senior high school is very different from junior high school. If before uh, kapag hindi ka nakapag attend ng, if hindi ka naka-attend ng specific um, class, madali pang makaka-catch up the next day. Pero, sa new high school, sa'yo, medyo mahirap na. 
Pero kapag siyempre yung amin sakit ka na, ganyan, hindi mo na kailangang pilit mo yung sarili mo kasi ikaw rin yung may hihirapan. Last tip para sa inyo guys, don't forget to treat yourself sometimes. And of course, have fun. Lalo na kapag after ng stressful week, yan, mga examination week, pwede kang pumain sa labas with your friends or even just by yourself. Magkaroon tayo ng mindset na we have to reward ourselves after ng um, pakikipagbakbakan. <laughs> That's all guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and I hope na marami kayo natutunan, lalo na sa mga incoming grade 11 students chat. Thumbs up and hit subscribe for more. There is no need to say goodbye because I'll see you in my next videos. Thank you guys. Are you ready for it?